Hello everyone, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming, and some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you another Let's Play episode of A Place to Call Home. Oh, I love that music. It's so nice and relaxing. It brings brings me some good memories. But anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> last episode was kind of strange. Last episode I've had a lot of uh, sexual stuff. A lot of you were a little bit confused about the relationship between these individuals, and you know what? I'm even more confused about that now. <laughs> Like, um, oh god, is he gonna start calling him daddy in a different way? Uh, okay, yeah, but anyway, guys, sit back and enjoy. I always enjoy playing this. I always have a good laugh, get a good laugh out of it. But all right, here we go. Let's jump right into it. <clears throat> all right, alarm chain, you're up. Let's do it. <clears throat> okay. What? We were waking you up. We thought you were dead. Oh, uh, I was just sleeping. I think it was just my eyes, Leo. False alarm. Seriously? And I was resting quite well, too. We kind of got worried. Maybe you felt bad about, um... I raised my cast. This. Oh. Hmm. Well, I certainly am fine now. Thanks. <laughs> you can let go now, Lo. Ah, right. <laughs> he awkwardly touches his face, then turns to me. Do, do I still look normal? His eyes glinted. Normal? Yeah, did anything change? Well, judging by this, you're all well. The lion squeezed his crotch. I told you to stop that! <laughs> he lies back on the bed. Call me when lunch is here. Alright then. Uh, there's a lot of protein on display right now. <laughs> you go rest as well. Yeah. I take off my shirt and lie down beside him. Oh, jeez, are, are we getting into the whole magical wizarding world of Furry Potter again? What do you think Seth got for lunch? I don't know. Chicken, maybe? Oh, Philia, your voice. It's so much lighter. Did you have a helium? I don't know. Chicken, maybe? He works in a fast food chain. Ah, yeah. Probably doesn't like eating there, though. I... What the... What the fuck? Where did this come from? I kind of hate basketball now. Ah, oh, come on. It's not bad to be rough every once in a while. Aim into that. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, I don't know what came over me there. <laughs> a little self-control comes a long way, too. I thought you came here to make me feel better. <laughs> he stares at the cast on my left arm. Huh. Can you move it? A little. It feels numb. Oh. You must be very upset. How wouldn't I? I smacked his arm. Ow! I'm sorry about earlier. It's alright. I had it coming. What? Nah, nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're very kind, you know that? Sometimes a little too kind. Is that a bad thing? Not really, I guess. But maybe that's what's good about you. Hmm. I stared at his eyes, and he does the same, averting my gaze after realizing it. <laughs> oh, you boys. Hey. What? I love you. <laughs> what? Oh. Well. What? <laughs> really? Wait. I thought you were straight. Dude, calm down. I'm just kid. You- you're an asshole. You are an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You bastard! I smack him with a pillow. Darn himbo! So you really do like me? Who told you that? It should be very obvious from your reactions when I touch you. Especially when we sleep. What are you doing touching him while he's sleeping? What? I didn't... Warmth rises up to my cheeks in embarrassment. But you kept on hugging me too! It's a normal thing to do, dude. <laughs> Even if we did try being a couple, I can't. What do you mean? It's because... It's because... Your armpit always stinks. about to say that. He's about to say, because my pee-pee don't work. <laughs> you himbo! It's not like I asked you to be my boyfriend anyways. Baka, it's not like I like you or anything. And my armpits absolutely do not stink. Really? This game. It's so funny. 
I'm gonna sleep. Night. I'm gonna knock out too. Good night. Asshole. Door knocking. Uh, what? My mouth was close to his when I woke up. He's naked too. I stared at the strands of hair that covered his eyes. Cute. Checking the time, it's already 12. I've been sleeping for an hour. Door knocking intensifies. The knob turns. Oh! Nice! Oi! Morning, lewd! I'm sorry, did I come at a wrong time? S Seth! Glad you can make it. Hmm? Just pretend you didn't see me, alright? Door closes. What the fuck? Hey, get up quick! He pins me back on the bed. Hey! Stay here with me. Get your non-gay arms off me! But, our alone time. He squeezes me against his body. Stop playing around! I'm still mad, you know. His grip loosens and I get off the bed. I then put, my, I then put on my clothes. Come on, let's eat! I slapped his butt. <laughs> Silly. Hey, look who's here! Boy, what happened to your arm? I'm trying to figure out what kind of voice I want to do for Seth. I keep coming across as, like, freaking Irish or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, I had an accident this morning. Kinda twisted some stuff, but I'm fine. Blimey! You remind me of my younger self. Roughhousing my pals and always bursting with energy. I used to break some bones myself. Not mine, of course. So how you feeling? Hmm, it's alright. <laughs> Tough lad. We didn't expect you'd really come. Well, you know, I spent all the time to myself. It gets quite lonesome after work, so I decided to come here early. Though, a tad late for lunch. Here you go. Leo placed a tray of canned soda and beer on the floor. The two of them then continued on chatting. Filio! Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> he drags himself into the room, then plops onto the sofa beside me. Hey! Seth! Bit warm today, isn't it? Uh, let me try that again. Hey, Seth. A bit warm today, isn't it? I looked at his bare chest. Not really. I just didn't want to put a shirt on. I wish I had that much confidence. He chuckled. I grabbed a plate and a few crispy wings dipped in hot sauce. Mmm. Here. I held up a wing to his mouth. M maybe later. You're not one to pass up such good food. I chopped the tasty wing down to the bone. Mmm. Come on, here. I held one up to him again. Hmm. He takes the whole wing into his mouth. Mm hmm. You're right. I am hungry. He takes my plate and adds a pile of wings on it. Told you. God, I like wings. Rarely eat them though. <sighs> I have a very, I have a varied palate. I like eat different things every day. After finishing the plate, he lies down on the couch. Leo and Seth played with some cards and dominoes on the floor. They both told each other stories about themselves while sipping on their cans. I, on the other hand, kept munching on wings. Philly is lying on his side, but he's awake. He gets up. I think I'm gonna go for a walk outside. I mean, he goes outside a lot. Not that I mind that. It's pretty. It's a good thing to do. Aren't you gonna stay for the pizza? Wait, what? They ordered wings and pizza. I'll just be outside. You know, I'd never miss anything. Be careful. Yeah. Hmm. Leo places down a card. I win. Now, as the bet goes, strip. Huh? Hey, you snatched that card while I wasn't looking. No, I didn't. Liar. <laughs> Uh-oh. Three years. Time sure flies. It's been so long, but I feel like I've held your hand you said just yesterday. Feels like it was only yesterday, too, when Leo took you in and we became friends. He acts kind of like you, you know. Funny. He's almost like a replacement for you. Yeah, he's not as good looking as me, though. You think so? He's just as handsome as you. Jeez, will we ever get a better pickup line? Like you can do any better. Then I guess I'll have to. Then I guess I'll leave that to my other me. Other you. What? Who are you talking to? Ah! I'm a. Uh... Reciting a line from a movie. Yeah. F from Hamlet. Yes, Hamlet. The part why Romeo runs away. 
My bounty is as boundless as the sea. My love is deep, the more I give. Uh, money. The less I have, for both are, um, loveless and jobless. I see. What are you holding? He hides it in his pocket. A lollipop. A lollipop? Lollipop, lollipop, ooh, lolly, 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 lollipop. I squint. I close my eyes and started sniffing. Hey, what are you doing? I walk closer to the scent. Hey, no! Hmm! <laughs> the faint smell of tobacco fills my nose. You were trying to smoke, weren't you? Uh, I found one in Leo's room. He leans onto the wall and shows a thick stick of brown tobacco. They say these things help you relax, so I wanted to try it out. To calm myself down from all the... hectic things. He hands it to me. But I don't know how to smoke. Oh. I lean next to him. Where did you get this? Where did you get this? <laughs> Where did you learn to smoke? I learned from watching you, Dad. I learned from watching you. <laughs> Life is crazy, don't you think? Hmm? You're crazy. I lightly punch his arm. You're a lot tougher than you think, you know. I can never be like you. Hmm. Do you know something that I don't? Nope. I chuckled. I don't know. Maybe you really are strong. You're doubting these. He flexes his biceps. Still, it's not enough. There's still a lot of things I have to learn. He sighed. Like letting go. Letting go of what? I want to just, you know, start a new life without anything holding me down. And maybe... He faces me. Even find something that really makes me happy along the way. Hmm. Oh. I've got a crazy idea. I pull out the cigar from... I pull out the cigar from my pocket. Give me the lighter. What? Why? Just give me. He hands me a metal square. It's, it's gilded size shine under the sun. Cool lighter. I took it from Lowe's room, too. Huh. I kind of have a feeling we shouldn't even be touching this cigar. It's kind of got a golden logo on it. Hmm. Meh. I place the tip under the flame. The tip burns red with fire. Woo, that is some nice smelling smoke. Leo comes <laughs> bursting out the door. Stop! Stop! You violated the law. <laughs> Do you two even know what that is? We stare at it. It's a thick cigar. Yeah, the big cigar. No, it's a penis. Ooh, does it make you extra high? No, that right there is an expensive Cuban cigar. Oh, a Cuban, okay. These cost more than a thousand dollars. Is it made of gold? No! The cigar bursts into flames. Oh, fuck! Leo froze. <laughs> Fancy! Help me out here! The wolf takes it from my hand and make, takes a, wh a whiff. He chokes on the smoke. <coughs> he gives it to me. It's got a real kick to it. No, no, no! Leo snatches it from my hands and waves it around frantically. <laughs> Stay with me, baby. <laughs> what the fuck? After stripping himself, he body slams the flame. <laughs> I can't with this game. This game is killing me. <laughs> oh my god. The cigar finally stops from being on fire. Whew. He turns to us. Uh, who took this from my room? <laughs> I point to the one. <laughs> back, points back to me. <laughs> I told you not to touch my closet. Look at what happened. If I ever find any of you taking any more items from my room, God have mercy. You would better, you would better start praying. He took a deep breath. These are the special collection ones, too. Hmm. Well, he takes a whiff of it, then blows a cloud into the air. Huh. I get that you two want to relax, 
But please try something else. Smoking is bad for you. He goes back inside. Hey, Seth, look what I got. Nice! <laughs> oh, God, that was so strange. Oh, that was so weird. I don't think smoking is for me. It tastes kind of weird. Well, I'm sure that definitely won't happen again. Especially when you burnt a thousand dollar cigar. Yeah. Sunlight covers our feet. It's warm like the summers I spent soaking my feet in the river near my home. <sighs> you know, he and I would get our entire body sticky and covered with the muck as kids. Hmm? With who? Fern. We played a lot. Building mud pies, throwing mud balls at each other, sometimes throwing it at Leo. Did he have fun too? Nope. He got angry and chased us. We even rolled around in it. It felt so cozy and warm. What are you, a mudwing? It was really fun. So you do that too, huh? I thought I was the only one who liked rolling around in mud. Well, I'm a big fan, though. I'm a big fan. Though I don't want to go rolling into one now. It feels kind of gross. <laughs> yeah. We walked around the street for a bit, checking out the calm streets. We're living in a paper town. He climbed up a narrow wall and sat down. Hmm? Paper town? Paper towns! You know, towns that exist on the map, but not in real life. Weird. Well, this is East Point, and the map is in Hoogle, so it isn't a paper town. Oh, I might be using the term wrong. Ghost town? Paper town. <laughs> yeah, ghost town seems better. A good-looking dude passes us by. He's wearing a blue jacket, too. Isn't it already hot enough to be wearing jackets? Beats me. I have coolant on. You've been conservative lately. I don't want to sweat a lot, Mr. Softbrush. <laughs> he starts walking to the other guy's direction. Hey, where are you going? Shh. He winked. We started tailing the man. He was a couple of footsteps away from us. What the f What the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> Good cop, bad cop. Uh, we peek behind a wall. Look! The guy enters the house. I didn't know he lives in there. Yeah. Good thing I didn't go through the door. I could have gotten in trouble. You only thought of that now? Well, good cop, bad cop. He hides himself behind the wall in front of the house and peeks behind it. Hey, hey, wait! He seems to be eavesdropping in a conversation. Huh? I do hear a couple people in there. There's one, two, three... Darn, there's a whole group in there! You think they're holding some kind of party? I don't know. There are people coming. Quick, casually walk away! We both stood up and walked. <laughs> casually walk. <laughs> I didn't expect there'd be so many people in there. Yeah. That was a really dumb idea. We both sit down on the swing. <laughs> that must be that must be that must really be a bother. Hmm? Your arm. Not really. It's just resting on a sling, so it's not much of a hassle. Sorry. It's alright. Things happen. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder if the things that happened to us were meant to teach us something. I try to believe that, but the cost of it? Sometimes it isn't worth paying for. But almost always, the reward is beyond what I could ever imagine. After all, how could I stay at this? How could I stay mad at this himbo? Ready to go back? It's already been an hour. Sure. Wow, what an investigation you guys had. You followed some dude to his home. All right, all right. So, this woman came in the bar, lush with them big busts. He shaped his hands and nudged the lion. I can't say that I can relate to your interests, but go on. You're. Yep. His jaw dropped. But you do have your own children, right? Your own little lions. No, I don't. He paused. But that would mean the end of your legacy. Legacy? No. Give me too much credit. Besides, I'm already happy with those two hooligans. I don't want to ask for more. Hey! We entered the house. Pizza! Pizza is still not here yet. What? But it's already an hour. I kind of ordered a few. How many is a few, exactly? Uh, three large boxes. Seriously? We can't eat all that. Who says I can't? He pats his belly. I'll take one home the leftovers, so don't you worry. Well, call me when it's here. I sat down next to Leo and took another play of the wings. <clears throat> anyway, my drunk friend came up to her and said, Oi there, little titty baps. Little, t little, little tidy baps. Careful little snog in one of them rooms. I'll put your knickers up in the right places. 
And bam! He gets knocked out by a mountain of a husband. Ha ha ha! Haliger! Leo snorted. Haliger? It's damn, in German. Interesting. Haliger. Heiliger. Marbear. Bennett. They both clanged their cans and laughed. Huh. I checked the time. 4 p.m. So tell me more about you guys. Oh? Well, it's nothing that unusual, I would say. Aw, oh, come on now. You clearly have two... He glances at me. Three different children under your care. They're just my boys. There's nothing wrong with them. Seth pleaded with his eyes. <sighs> well, he's not here, so I guess it's fine. Alright, pause it right there. This freaking silly ass episode. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching A Place to Call Home. This has been the end of another absolutely insane, silly, nonsensical episode. It's it's it's, it's a good comic relief. A good comic relief show. I, I enjoy it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell until the end of the until the next video. I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!